All right, we're getting ready to put our Dora rock up here, which is our concrete backer board for our tile. Before we do that, got a situation here where our our faucet's just kind of wiggling around here on its pex lines. So we're going to be cutting some more of that solid blocking. You can see some over there right above our drain there that we fastened our drop ears to. Uh, we're going to be putting some more solid blocking. We're going to be putting one above our valve here and one below it in between this 2x4 and this 2x4. Right? They're like 16 inch pieces of 2x4. We're going to mount that and then we're going to screw this face place here, this plaster plate, right to those 2x4s and that will stiffen it up nice. We have to do that before we put our door rock up because once we put our door rock up we won't be able to see this anymore over here. So we're going to take care of that first and then we're going to show you how we're going to hang our door rock correctly and we're going to be doing the front wall with the valve, the five foot side wall and the back wall for the shower all in tile. So we have to cover all that with our concrete Dura Rock. Now we're using Dura Rock on this project. Uh, you've probably seen us use another product called Wonderboard on the last bathroom we did if you watched that video. Um, and we also use a product called Hardy Backer Board. All of those are good products to use in a shower environment as well as on a floor. You can put this stuff right over the floor as well uh, when you're doing a tile floor. But we're going to be using it on three walls in the shower. And uh, Tom has our two blocks of wood here. And we're going to try to mount these blocks of wood above and below our valve to stiffen yeah. this whole works up here. I think. Uh, like so, something like that. Yeah, it's got to be back like that. Well, we'll be able to hold that back yeah. in there. Well, let's do it. Uh, now we're going to need a, a ratchet drill, Jonathan, and some uh, two in it, two or uh, actually yeah, three, inch, three screws. inch screws. Oh, you want the threes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. My gosh, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to mount our faucet. Then I guess we're ready to wrap this with our game plan. Yep. Uh, this got to be... You're going to go in the side door there. Try to catch I'm that. Back in, yeah. Make sure I am back far enough here. Yeah, a two foot level in here somewhere. Yeah. Now we have to make sure that the face of this is back right flush there. with our two that by. Side. That'll work on that side. That looks good. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, we're, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom of this. We're installing that ring yeah. on that faucet according to the manufacturer's instructions that came with the faucet. Mm -hmm. Which like said that and seven eighths out. that plaster ring, that white ring that's around the outside of the faucet, needs to be flush with the Frame it. Oh, here we are. I want to be 14 and a half. That's what I want. 14 and a half. What I did here is I'm, I'm eyeballing my fixture off my pop up drain, off my center. We're, we're, we're going to hold a center on all this stuff. So the center of the drain is the center yeah, of the Yeah, what I did, I just, I mean, like I said, this is rough, but I, I put a tape measure there 14 and a half over, mm -hmm. 14 and 5 eighths to be exact. And now I'm just going to take and bump this. Uh, 14 and 5 eighths, exact, I'm looking at it, everything looks good, uh, mini screw and, then, and another 2 buff one we're going to put on the bottom now, mini screw, yeah, I want to set this, they have holes in here where you can, once you like what you got, once you like what you got, you just put it on there, look at that, that can't go nowhere now, it locks it into place, that's yeah, nice, it's a nice lock, uh, John, grab your three-inch screw gun again. All right. We also got very lucky here with our uh, with our uh, got a hammer out there right behind you. Good. Uh, we got lucky with our vent pipe moving that far back into the wall. Because uh, when 
when we first got here, it looked like it was going to be a, a heck of a challenge, didn't it, Ed? Yes, it did. <laughs> but I knew we'd get it. Yeah. We may not get it on the bottom, but that yeah, faucet's will. mounted. We'll get it. You think? I don't know it. Yeah. Well, put the put the level across to your plate, and don't worry about the two by four. See what the level says. If the level says we're good, then we're good. Yeah, we're right where we want to be. All right, we got it. Up there. Let me work it out. Yeah, that side I know is ready to screw. This side we can hold in. And let's put a three through there. Hang on here. Mm. Go for it. All right. Uh, we also bought some plumbing plates. John, you can get them out of the Home Depot bag and show them. We mentioned to you yesterday. What we're doing is we're trying to get this to the final stage of the game where we can close everything up. All right, so these are our plumbing plates. We talked about them yesterday. We're going to be using these to put over top of the 2 by 4s Any plate where we could hit a pipe yeah, with our, right a screw wall, or a nail. So, uh, let's see what right, right here is an instance where we're going to need yeah, one. You see the, on the drain line is going through the 2x4, but it's only back about oh, a half inch. So a screw could go through there and hit our drain pipe. So what we're going to do is put a plate right, right, there. right, right over top of the 2 by right there, and that will keep us from accidentally running a nail into our drain pipe. All right, yeah, we're going to do the same place. thing where our... Yeah, yeah. Where our water lines come through, we'll be putting the plates there too, there and there, so that we don't hit a water line. All right, these are plumbing plates. They can be found in the plumbing aisle in most stores, or you can find them in the decking department at Home Depot. They sell them in the decking department. Yeah, more so than the electric. Good call. Let me just tap on like that, and that's it. Right. Next big one down. You got little ones for the little ones. Yep. And these are also a code item as well. If you have your plumbing inspected, the inspector will be looking for those plumbing plates. So those are plumbing plates, and make sure you use them. make sure you use them. I believe we got right Yeah, quickly. Here. You should be done by now. How long does it take to put on six plates? Tom's a slave driver. We push to the young guys. Just to the, just to the young guys. We got to make it happen, Captain. Make it happen, well, Captain. We have Jonathan on the scene today. He's a good young guy. He, do, he does everything that Tom doesn't want to do. Yeah. Run up and down the steps. All right, keeps us, he do. keeps us young. Ready to, uh, like I said, we're ready to wrap this tub. So all I'm gonna do is, uh, I know I got the back wall cut. I gotta find the directions to see how big of a circle I cut this out at. Because uh, okay. yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't want to cut them too tight. You gotta get a face cover on here to screw so If you follow your uh, manufacturer's directions, it'll tell you how big of a circle to cut. Yeah, there. and where are our directions to that, uh, yeah, and, uh, that faucet? That's what we're gonna need there. Other than that, I'd like to. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Just give this tub a quick cover up with something. Because now we're going to be working with hammers, screw guns above our new ports of the tub. Do you still have that blanket out in your thing, Ed, by any chance or no? I did. You did or you don't? Out in your truck. There you go. No, there you oh, go. That's, that's a piece of, yeah, we'll get a piece of cardboard or something in here. The, uh, right. the towel that yeah, we have. Yeah, some measurements. We actually have it in here somewhere. What's that? The uh, thing from the U-Haul place that we got with the cart. Yeah. Well, it's right there underneath the uh, the toity. Yeah, that's, ah. that's what we want. I still need just a couple little things to finish this out. I got to build this out to here. Okay. And I got to uh, and I got that. I think that's it for this area. I think that's it for this area. Then over here we got two medicine cabinets to put in. Yeah, and we have those Blue on the side. Screw. Uh, so we got in-wall medicine cabinets going between our vanity light box and our pedestal sinks, which are going to be here and here. You know that by now. And we're going to be uh, cutting out the drywall and possibly, because of where the center of our 
medicine cabinets are going to be. We're going to center our medicine cabinets on the same line that we centered our vanity light box on and our drain line for our sink. All right, so you can see, if you look at the center line, there's a 2x4 behind here, which we're going to have to cut out because it's going to be right in the middle of our medicine cabinet for this one. Uh, this one over here, we're kind of in...